the internet of things. It's, uh, it's, it's like that nebulous out there. We hear about it all the time. Recently, there's the huge hacks using the internet of things, pinging back and bringing down sites. But this ranges from your, the refrigerator, the coffee pot, the nanny cam, everything that's out there. We're engineers, and we think that we're, we're confined to this small little space, or the phone, or something else. We have to think bigger. We have to think that how can we incorporate this knowledge that we're using, this ability to reach out to anywhere in the world and control it. Well, control it, that sounds a little ominous, but we can do a lot more than just make for the web. As developers, we can go and do surgery across the world. There's recently a technology that was pushed out about that, about minimizing packets so they can do surgery, minute surgery, just their internet connection across the world, just using VR screens. It's great. So the Internet of Things is something we could also look forward to as far as what we can do with the Internet. What can we do with this technology? What can we do as programmers? And that comes to the major thing of what we do. We're problem solvers. Whether it be we're making new tools for newer developers or the average user, or if we're making these complex programs for who knows what, we have to always understand that the future for us is to solve the problems of the people who come after us. It really, I mean, most of us know that all we do all day is we, get, we, we code and we put out things and we hit a problem and we Google, like, why isn't this working? Okay, somebody else has had this problem, we have to figure it out. Or if we can't find our problem, we have to figure out a route to get around that. Problem solving is the key role of a developer, really. And then we have the blurred lines of where reality begins and the internet ends. Does it matter anymore? Recently, Amazon's putting out their new little stores that you walk in, you have your phone in your pocket, you pick up the items, you walk out. It knows. It's the internet coming to life. I mean, when I was a kid, they told me, don't meet people off, don't meet people off the internet. And you don't go hitchhiking because you don't get in cars with strangers. One of the big problems that was solved by Uber was, you call people on the internet, tell them to come pick you up. Meeting people off the internet, getting in the cars with them. It's great. <laughs> I mean, the, really, the, what used to be the internet and the division between the internet and real life has blurred now. There's so much that we have incorporated from that to our daily lives that we can't live without anymore. I mean, some of you probably have been looking on your computers or your phones or whatever just to fact check me this whole time. <laughs> because we can. And we have to understand that what we used to do, the way we used to think about how we separate everything is no longer as important because we have this technology. Let's use it to the best of our abilities. 